Here, I want to take this off for it. Yeah, we're recording. Everything's everything's good. We're good to go here. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting having to do the same thing I did last time, editing, without getting the echo. Yeah. I mean, we had to deal with like you know obviously the echo because we were like when. So last podcast we did, um, you know, we filmed it twice because the echo. Which what I had to do was whenever say Gavin talked, which was the entire show, I had to mute our mics. And then whenever we talked, I had to mute Gavin's mic. So sometimes you heard Gavin in the background because it was picking up from our mics. And then you could hear us and his mic because it was picking up from his mic. It's a whole debacle, guys. Welcome back to the podcast. This is special guest Tim Clark, a.k.a. Elon Musk. Welcome to the show, Tim. Probably the best guest we'll have on the show all year. Gavin, uh, I apologize for Gavin Leahy last week. He was a bit of a... uh, Madman, if you will. Um, but we got comments from multiple people regarding that too. Actually, yeah. well, I mean, you're yeah. talking about him. Or you're talking about no, other people. No, 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 no. Well, no, you talk. Like I know, like, are you talking about like like people we know or other people? No, people we know. Okay, no, I mean, like, I thought you were talking about like some random person. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Gavin. Yeah, Gavin's got issues at home. His sister again. Fucking, I was telling Tim about it and. Because you, you got off early last night because you went fishing today. Yeah. Uh, did you catch anything, first of all? I did. Oh. Yeah, a funny story did you catch a girlfriend? Huh? Nothing. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, keep going. Keep uh, going. So pretty much what happened was, so we went to go out around, I think we left around 7, got there for 7.30. And there's like all these little um, places you can bring up kayaks. Oh, boy. And I didn't realize, I forgot what you said, it was private, but it really wasn't. Yeah. So we, I went to go fill up the kayaks, and like he's going to park, so I'm by myself, and he comes over, one of the owners of one of the houses comes over, and he's like, hey, get that shit out of here, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was like, why isn't it, why isn't it not, like, hi, I, I was so confused, but now your mic is on. I was okay. like, why is the audio so, you can tell the God story again, it. you can tell the story. Right. <laughs> so we get there around 7.30, we're going down the pond, he goes to park. We go to I go to like bring out the kayaks, at like the dock docking area. Yeah, and this guy from up top he is like shouting down. He's like, "Hey, get your shit out of here! You're not allowed in here!" Blah blah. What'd you say? I'm like, "Buddy, yeah. I I fished here like for 15 years. This is all this is public." And he's like, "No, it's not. This boat launch is not pub uh not public." Blah blah. blah. I'm all, I'm talking to the guy for like 10 minutes, like bickering at him. Yeah, I'm fishing with your wife tomorrow too. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. His wife was before him. She was like, oh, it's oh. private property. And then the dad came over. He's like, hey, what are you guys doing? So pretty much ended up happening. We had to go all the way down this long-ass trail. Mm-hmm. I thought we were going to flip the truck. And we ended up kayaking. We caught um, probably, honestly, like 30 bass each. First cast caught something. What are you, Charlie Moore's outdoor? <laughs> I swear to God, it was. We had two kayaks out there. It was nice. Foggy. It was good fishing. It's foggy, good fish. Like, it's fucking like river, like river monsters over here with Jeremy Wade. Yeah, pretty much. Back to the Gavin part. We were playing Warzone last night. He got off early because he had fishing, obviously. And Gavin was supposed to play at least like one or two more games. And the sisters in the back nagging, nagging away. Gavin, <laughs> when are we going to go smoke this blunt? I'm like, Are you serious? Yeah. And then I was like, She hops on the mic. I'm like, Hey, listen. We get one or two more games out of Gavin. You can go. Fiddle with him. I don't know elsewhere. Apparently, she was going to go pick up some puff bars. If you don't know what those are, those the nicotine sticks, whatever. Never heard of them. Gavin had it at the house the other day. Oh, the, I the thought yellow, it was a jewel, yellow, but it wasn't. No, because jewels are, they don't have any good flavors anymore. It's just like um, tobacco, tobacco, whatever it is, because they got rid of all the other ones. Because you know, nicotine addiction. So really. why didn't you tell Tim to play? It was like one o'clock in the morning already. Right. It was already one o'clock in the morning. I mean, did you get your mic situated yet? No, it doesn't mean I couldn't contribute. See? He could have faced I, apo- I apologize. I could have. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, she was uh, complaining that Gavin wouldn't get off. And then he ended up getting off after one game he played. I was so pissed off. She's like, because she can't drive, first of all. She has no license. She has no life. Um, and she made him drive. He just he wanted he wanted the attention from her probably and he wanted. You it know, sounds like it. It seems he, like he always wants the he attention, ended up, right? Tom? Yeah. Oh yeah. He loves the attention. He just smoked, and then we just got off. I was talk. Oh, <laughs> I was watch. I don't know why I did. I watched it again. I watched. You don't mess with the Zohan again last night. Well, you watched it again. I love it. 
we were, oh, we were me, uh, me and John were talking on the mic, and he's like, I'm like, I don't know what to watch tonight. He's, he was telling me about this movie about like uh, how Mark Zuckerberg is started Facebook or something. He said it's a good movie. I might have to Social watch Network. it. Social Network. Yeah. He said it's a good movie. But yeah. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to watch You Don't Miss the Zohan tonight. And he's like, I'm going to do the same thing. So you guys watched it together? No, we didn't watch it. That would have been cool if we watched it together like, uh, on Zoom. Usually you can do it on Discord. And the party's bumping. He's in the, <laughs> he's in the, the hair salon. But no, yeah, he his sister completely. I'm all set with her. Actually, I got a uh, pretty important thing this morning. I, I told it, it doesn't really matter. It's not really big, but you know the girl Charlie Jordan. Yeah. I com I commented on her thing. She liked it. Okay. She liked the comment. I was she like, did. Ah! she ended up liking the comment? No, no, not the not the tattoo not one. The tattoo I, one? I, no. So she posted a video of herself doing a hair care routine, uh, a face care routine or something, and I was like, um, at the end of it, she was like literally like destroying her face with like the skincare stuff. She's like. And she said, "Get the demons out of me." And I said, "I said the same thing." And she liked it. I was like, "All right, when are we when are we going out?" <laughs> I wish. Oh, Andrew. How are things with you and uh? Oh my God! Why is it every fucking episode? All right, fine. Well, never mind. Let's, it's not let's, good. Let's go to Tim. Tim, how's things been with hey, you? Let's go to Tim. I mean, for what it's worth, I guess you could say life's picking up its pace. I mean, just trying to make the most of every day for what I can. You know. There you go. I mean, quarantine is kind of awful, but now summer is coming around. America's kind of just, eh, we don't really want to deal with the coronavirus, so we just, we act like it's not a real thing. So now it's just been cornhole and ball with the boys, I guess. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of ball, a lot of Chick-fil-A, a lot of basketball, a lot of BR kids trying to play fives. Honestly, hot garbage. before I came here, I was like, oh, should I eat or are we going to Chick-fil-A? But I was like, no, Chick-fil-A. I well, I know John's coming here, so we're pro I'm, I'm probably not going anywhere. I literally checked my wallet. <laughs> Just one receipt. I, I can pay it? for you, man. I mean, no, 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 I want I want all the me. boys to see. If you guys want some, I can. Bing bang, bing, it on. I can pay for you guys. It's not a bad idea. John's coming over. Yeah, after the podcast, and then Gavin again lied to his friend. Hey. Uh, do you want to tell the story? Or do you want to just keep it? Uh, because I don't know if Jack listens to it or not. The podcast. We'll keep it off record for now. Okay, we'll we keep got, it off. We don't record. want to mess with the legal team. Yeah, the yeah. Well, the, well yesterday the legal team was already dealing with enough battles because of Gavin's mishap in the show. Uh, are you guys gonna release your official apology? Oh yeah, shit. We're supposed to do that. Yeah. We can do it. We can, we, can, we, can, we can. We can take a picture after this with like handcuffs on our like back with That'll Gavin. That'll be the thumbnail. That'll be the thumbnail. There we go. What a way. What's it gonna be called then? Because you know. Oh, I'll figure it out. Gavin got us canceled. Yeah. Cancel Gavin Leahy 2020. Please, actually, yeah, there that's what it's for the show. I think, oh yeah, if you guys, we did the uh, YouTube video as well. Did great. I think most actually, of, I think most people saw it on YouTube. Like, literally no one listened to it on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Like, I actually watched it, like, fully. It actually was pretty decent. I think when you have the third, like, the second camera angle pointing at someone else that's also it's in the room. It's spicy. But yeah, it spices it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, I agree. 100%. 100% spicy now with Tim Clark. I love it. Good stuff. But Gavin was talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, Gavin. I didn't realize he wouldn't shut the fuck up. He yeah, wouldn't shut up. He was talking a lot. Which I mean, I mean, yeah, he's the guest, sure. But I feel like the guest should just contribute, you know. Yeah, I mean, Tim's he's being a yeah, great Tim's guest over here. Right I think last week Gavin owned the show. He was like, "This <laughs> this is the Gavin show. Let me just vent to you guys for about half an hour and see how where this takes me." That's basically what he did. Do you have any big plans this summer? Well, it actually dawned on me that we're already, like, almost in July. I know, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I had no clue how fast, like, this summer's already been going by. But it seems like it hasn't. I've been home since March. Yeah, we've all been home since, like, March. And you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No vacations planned or anything. I guess I'm just trying to – my goal is to just do something every day, I guess. It isn't July yet, but, I mean, that's when Brendan Cassie comes out for Cornwall, so – I know. Once it's July, you, you know, you miss, you basically lose. I I mean, I would like to do, like, a couple Airbnbs. I did my first one last year, and that was pretty fun. But Would you uh, get an Airbnb at? I did two days in New Hampshire with a oh. group of friends. And that oh, was yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. Was it, like, a cabin or? It was just, like, a small house. Small house? It, but, yeah, it wasn't, like, a big piece of making it stuff. It's still, like, a cabin or whatever. Really? Nice house yeah, what are you paying for that? Oh. Love me, love me. Oh, <laughs> Say gotcha. that you love. It's all right. A little bit of AshleyMadison.com can fix that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It can still be like um, who was my English teacher? He was talking about it. It was um, no, it was what? Was it college? 
high school. Was it Mr. Scanlon? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Freakbag Scanlon. Yeah. He was talking one day in class. He's like, I don't you know, when you go on like the internet or something, like they always track what you're doing so they give you ads for stuff that are relevant to you, but I've I've never wanted to cheat on my wife, but Ashley Madison popped up. I'm like no I'm way. like, What? That's I'm like hilarious. I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't know. I think you might I think we have to tell your wife something. You I think you want to cheat on her. Yeah. Whenever I try to load something yeah, one, don't, two, three movies, yeah, don't ever says, try to get a free movie online from one, two, three, or what no, is it, it, works, it works. Yeah, you just get a random like porn. Oh, ad. somebody wants to talk to you. Yeah. Hey. Like, like yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's yeah. like some like twenty two year old like you just know just boobs already yeah. out. It's like, feed Jesus, take me to dinner first. But it's free. It's a free movie, so. <laughs> I love it when you were typing it. Now, what was it? Venom free online. Uh, it was Venom free online. It was some. What did it go to? <laughs> yeah, Dad, I'm free online. <laughs> That's what you get when you have those voice, the uh, the voice buttons, whatever. I don't know. It was the Alexa, yeah, through the remote. You can't trust those. No, you can't. They they pick up everything. They really do. Oh, yeah. They actually, um, speaking of that. Well, yeah, they always pick up stuff for me because I scream fuck every time. Speaking of that, actually, they had like a murder and, um. Oh my God, it picked it up? It picked up on the Alexa, but I guess with uh, their policy, technically they can't disclose it, what's being said. But I guess in this instance, they end up doing it, but I think the people are suing. I would. Um, I would sue. They're probably going to get m- mad money. Well, no, no, no. The person that, like, murdered somebody might sue. What? They just murdered someone. Yeah, I know, but, you, like, they're giving away. Yeah, exactly. They're not able to disclose the information. Well, the people who can't, like, they can't open that information because they're dead now. The, the people with the Alexa. Yeah, but the problem is the Alexa, you, you need to sign a contract with Amazon or something like that. There's, there's parts of their legal thing that's wrong. You, you can hear it if things like Alexa can't be used or something. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. That's like basically just, it's like O.J. Simpson just had to get away with murder. Pretty much, yeah. Do I have an Alexa? All right, you're good. Get away with murder. Yeah. That's fucking horrible. I feel so bad for that. Was it, how many people died? No, it was just like a, one person. It was just like a murder. And it was just on the Alexa, I guess. But the, the guy's going to go to jail for life on there, probably. Yeah, probably. Good. And Alexa. Oh, yeah, and Alexa's going to jail. Alexa, yeah, she's going to be in trial. Yeah. Imagine that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Play Messing Around by, what is his name? Ray Charles? Yeah. Doing the mess around. But <laughs> they're not doing the mess around. Speaking of blind people. like No, like I mean glasses. <laughs> Tim wears these fire glasses all the time. I, I'd never tell if you're looking at me or not when you wear the glasses. That's the whole reason why I wear them. I gotta get myself a pair. The shades you always wear, they're wicked yeah, nice. They're yeah, they're like they're like really nice. I love them. Where'd you get them from? They're about five cents at TMLP. How'd you get sunglasses at TMLP? I got the hookups. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you mean you got the? What do you know at TMLP? It's funny you you live in an area for so long and people come to you. I love it. I love it. He's TMLP is coming to him now. Who else is coming to you now? Besides TMLP. Um, I don't know. I just I just got all the connections. That's why I've been trying to offer to help out Tom a little bit. Oh, with Jill, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to say names. I didn't want to say names. What's going on here? She's not gonna listen to the goddamn no, podcast. No one listens to it except anybody in this room. <laughs> Actually, listen, no, man. Hey, hey, think about it. We probably had at least like twenty views on Spotify. We didn't get twenty views on Spotify. We had four. Close enough. Pod podcaster, yeah. Two, close enough, yeah. Zero. Sixteen views, yeah. No, no we, uh, honestly, like, all right, whatever. That's our most view- YouTube views. Yeah, that was great. Like, 25 views. And then we got, like, yeah. three subscribers. I mean, hey, you got to start small. You got to start small. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. I mean. Hey, I've, I've, I would just like to say I've always advocated for you. Thanks. You got to start small. Yeah. And then someday, when it picks up, people will come back and see these videos. Yeah, they're going to start They're gonna start saying congratulations. And be like, fuck you. It's funny how bitches turn to my fans. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know Connor. I was saying that like a couple days ago. I didn't know Connor's that much of a listener. Connor, you're out there. He, I didn't realize he listens to the podcast that much. Yeah. I mean, I have been too. It's called it's called having yeah, fans. I mean, yeah, pretty much. You and Connor have been the top fans here. Yeah. What do you What do you put your hand up? You didn't even fucking oh, watch the I'm episode sorry, last I'm week. Sorry, but you like you technically like part of the crew. So he doesn't give a shit. Look at him. You can be the audio engineer. There you go. We'll get, we'll get another camera for you just to look at you. No, I, was, I actually really enjoyed listening to these podcasts when I was on campus because it's so big. So you, all you do is walk and I'd always have my headphones on and I, um, I downloaded the Himalaya app on my phone yeah. 
so I could listen to like John's podcast. And then I would listen to some, because at the time, that's when you guys only had a couple out. So I, immaturity into booth. And, but, um, so I would actually listen to them as I'd walk across campus though. Yeah. You got a long walk across campus sometimes. Like what? Like probably like half an hour. Sometimes. Yeah. From that was usually my longest. That is ridiculous how far that is. I know. I was doing like over like 15,000 steps a day. Wow. It was crazy. That's because it's like a mini city. It re- it's its own. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Bridgewater is like a mini like uh village. They literally have the, you said they literally have their only like police officers. So stupid. Ha ha ha. So funny. Good job. Hey, yeah, we're gonna pull you over because really? you're going the speed limit. What? Oh. Uh, yeah, not this one. No, that one's fine. I'm pretty sure like my the police car was stolen by somebody at some point, and I got that. I had it. So the grandma yeah. stole it. And, and just. Like, the old lady, the old lady I bought it from got stolen. Yeah, it probably was stolen. Fucking mm-hmm. one of the four door handles that you worked. Hey. Yeah, Still hey, past hey, inspection though. That car. Upgrades, that, upgrades. <laughs> upgrades, people. Upgrades. That actually got us to uh, Six Flags. It did. I went to Six Flags in that car multiple times. Yeah. You guys had sex in that car multiple times. Oh. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Jack Hammer. Do, 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 do. Jack Hammer Jr.? Yeah, JJ? Jack Hammer Jr. <laughs> the prodigal the prodigal Jack Hammer. Do, 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 do. No, but going back to uh, Jill, I think that... I don't think she's God out of it. your league at all. She's watching this right now. This is live. This is a live stream. All right, comment down below if you want to see Tom take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, I I don't get what like you think. I think you just don't have a lot of confidence in yourself when you yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I can't talk about that. No, I can't talk about just it. Just put a couple in me. I'll be, I'll be good. I'll talk. I'll talk about it, about it briefly. Okay, then I'll tell my story. Like, but I threw up. No, I threw like, up in the lawn. Very briefly. Like I had. I don't know if you had those, Tim. Uh, they're like half lemonade, half iced tea with like I didn't know it was nine percent alcohol. Well, Connor told me it was 9%, but I didn't realize it was 9%. So it was, like, a little bigger than a Trulies can. I didn't realize that that contributed to two beers. Because how much are they usually? How much is, like, a Trulies? Like, 3%, 3 or 4%? Regular beers are 4 or 5%. Yeah, 4, yeah. I didn't realize it was 9. So when I had four of those in the matter of, like, two and a half hours, <laughs> that was eight beers. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Chico? And right before that, I shot a tequila. One or two shots. No, I think I had two shots of tequila, and then I had that. I, I was just, I was out of it. You don't even remember. And then after that, um, Mike made me a drink with uh, Malibu and some Kool Aid and pineapple juice. It was really good. I, I like he was drunk too, so he literally filled the thing halfway up with Malibu. So I'm literally, <laughs> <laughs> I barely walked home, but. And then you end up coming and playing basketball the next day. Yeah, literally, I felt like shit, but it turned out pretty good. All right, now you tell your story about So this was, yeah, this is, all right, so I'm going to just say, first of all, this is when I was a low point in my life. Still there. Um, it was uh, New Year's Eve. I went to the Pats game with Ramir and Kyle. And, you know, Ramir is going to be a couple nippies at the game. I went home. I had nowhere to go. Good nowhere to man. go. He went somewhere else, and I, I just went in my room. I just started drinking, getting rambunctious. This Next is thing you know, soft, right? Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm at home. I'm, I'm feeling a little nauseous. I threw up. What were you drinking? Bacardi. And Coke, like a lot of Bacardi, like oh, literally like this no. much Coke and like this much Bacardi. Um, and then I'm like, I'm feeling real, like really nauseous and I throw up <laughs> all over my pillow on my bed. And then I take the pillow. I don't know why I did it, but I took the pillow and threw it out on the fucking lawn. And then what I come back, I come back inside, right? I come back inside. I don't even have recollection of like waking, like going to bed or coming back inside. <laughs> and then I get a knock on my door like five in the morning. Hey. What are you doing? You doing laundry at five in the morning? I put my clothes in the la- like in the uh, washer at like five, and oh, I'm like, my God. yeah, I gotta, I gotta get my clothes good for tomorrow. I go work. He's like, okay. And then I go, I wake up in the morning. My mom's like, why is your, why is your pillow on the lawn? I'm like, I don't know. And then I picked it up. What was the best part? The best part. What was it? Oh yeah, but I, I don't remember even doing this. But there was a the back wall above Tom's head. I literally put a hole in the wall. 
I think I tripped and hit my head like, Doof. and then just instantly a huge hole in the wall. Yeah, that's my that's my story. Tim, you got any uh, stories for us? I mean, I'm sure there's a couple I could find. I don't know what areas you want me to touch upon. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable talking about. I mean, this is pretty uncensored, so Gavin should know all about being uncensored. Hey, based off of last week's episode, I believe it. I believe it. I've been to a couple of uh, Brennan Cassie parties. You got a little rowdy. Also, we all we all got huh? Yoki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Volkman, aka 2.0, Brennan Cassidy, <laughs> without jaundice. It's so funny because he knew right away too. Yeah. They look the same. They, they, you know, Miss Cass must have, you know, slept with the wrong guy one night by accident. <laughs> I figured that's what would have put the hole in the wall. <laughs> My ja- <laughs> was a jackhammer. Just bump right through it. Oh, my head went right through that. I don't remember doing it. And then my dad put a sign over the, like, the, like said, there's a hole in the wall. Watch out. So I'm like, <laughs> caution. My head hit that. But if you threw up in your pillow or whatever, why wouldn't you just throw it on in his room? Oh, I should have done that because he had sex in my room. Yeah. I remember when you, I, I literally just found out about it this year that he had sexual intercourse on my bed. I thought you found out like last year. Did you find the poop yet in your, in your pillows? <laughs> oh, no. Well, the bag hasn't opened no, yet. No, no, it's actually memory foam now. It's not, it's not feathers, it's just memory foam. Just mold right to his head. It's full of... Uh, <laughs> well, the bag it clearly hasn't popped yet. I put in a little Ziploc bag. <laughs> I'm waiting for your head to hit the pillow so hard that like, it just spews out. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of that, um, was Gavin actually watching? Uh, He was? Yeah, he was. And then this morning... John had uh, orientation on Zoom for Roger Williams, and he was watching Despicable Me in the background, and he sent me a video of him going, because I, what did he say? I'm committing crime. Tri- I'm committing crimes. Oh, yeah. Vector. Yeah. All right, what'd you, what'd you? No, it doesn't. He says Vector, but he says it, like, very mellow, I think. And he's like, oh, yeah. Well, that's what probably would have made the movie better if they said you got vectored, bitch. He should have a standalone film. Yeah. He should. It's called. It's, it should be called. You got vectored. Who's the actor? Okay. Oh, I haven't heard that name in a while. You know, I met your mother. I I remember hearing that name a lot, like growing up. So he must have been one of those like, kind of like. He was in the, he was in the Muppets Did he voice act for Despicable oh, yeah. Me? Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. He was Vector. He was, he was Vector. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna DM him and be like, I need you to do a voiceover for something. Oh my god, that'd be so good if he did that. I'm gonna get that for your. I'm gonna get that for your. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna give that to you for your for, like to your for, uh, birthday probably. And I wanna get you. I wanna get you a. Um, how do you feel oh, about? We can a, do um our like Christmas exchange thing that they were supposed to, uh, him and uh. Yeah, we did a Christmas exchange thing. He, I gave him a shirt that said, "Do I make you horny, baby?" And then I got, he gave me a. <laughs> he it was like me, a joint birthday and uh, exchange gift. I got him the Post Malone vinyl. Love it. And then they didn't switch at all. Him and Hunter. They would lie to each other and said, "Hey, it's in the mail," or <laughs> they or- they ordered it. They never did. Just buy him like buy him alcohol. I don't do that. Yinglings. Yeah. He loves. I don't like a new Dead Space shirt or something. I don't know. Uh. Those shirts haven't come in yet for Jay either. The Saturdays for the dads. They're like literally Still? in Taunton. They're in Taunton somewhere. UP, UPS had to transfer it to USPS. I feel like you have the crappiest shipment policy I've ever seen. Yeah, mine's pretty simple now. It's only coming two days. Yeah, it seems like every time. It was coming from Barstool. What do you want? Uh, yeah, Barstool. If it's coming from Amazon, Amazon, it's going to be like on like the day it says it's supposed to come. But like it was from Barstool. They literally, UP, apparently UPS probably couldn't handle it, so they literally gave it to USPS and said, here, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to go kill myself. Probably, yeah. That's what probably they did. Transfer. Yeah. But, yeah, I want to get a fire with Jay and then give him a shirt. Yeah, you can start one over there if you want. <laughs> Fucking burn the whole house down, Kyle. I wish he had, like, another camera for him. We could just see him. We should get another. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, let me spend another $600. Keep encouraging him to spend money he I love it. No, I'll bring over my mic. With, with, my own, fucking laptop. with my laptop. And he can have his own. It's going to be a lot of editing going on. It's going to be a lot of editing going on. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm, uh, I'm going to keep it low. I bought a MacBook Pro. Um, My parents don't know. 
they're never going to know. Yeah, they're going to know. They're going to be like, oh, what is this? Well, I told my mom I was going to eventually get one. She said, okay, I understand that. Just because, A, it's easy to edit on. B, my other laptop, the black one, like the dinosaur one, takes probably about, probably about like a whole full day of editing. This takes probably like four hours to do editing for this. That was a hassle, by the way, doing that. Looking at Gavin's face for four fucking hours. <laughs> Literally wanted to, like, just cut him out in the entire podcast. Wait, wait, you were even able to, like, switch up the angle, or was it just on him the whole time? No, I switched up the angle plenty yeah, of times. Like, know. obviously, like, he was, like, probably, like, I'm going to say, like, 55% of the podcast for Gavin, and, like, we were, like, 45. That's generous. Yeah. All right, fine. He's 70. He's 70. 70, 30, then? I was, I was, uh, Gavin's percentage was up there. For a second, I thought I was just FaceTiming Gavin. Cause I was on my phone watching. It was just him the whole time. Yeah, he's 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 uh one to talk a lot, especially especially you, Kyle. You talk a lot too. Does not ever shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, but he's like the guy in Felger Maz that just gives the extra input, and it actually is useful. No, he should just be the guy that has like a soundboard, and he let's get a fucking soundboard and put it in the car, press the buttons. I'd be like this, and then he goes, "Oh yeah, Vector." <laughs> I love that. Oh no! They did the um, no the office, the office when they had the Dundies. Yes, Mike and yes, it yeah, was. and then yes, it was. And, and then Dwight pressed and he's like, "Shut up." Oh no! This thing's been going on for twenty six minutes. Doesn't even feel like it's been that long. But what was that Parks and Rec? No, it was the office when they had the Dundies and Chili's. No, I know what you're talking about. Remember in Parks and Rec that there was their own talk show there, and it was the guy who does um Big Mouth. Like Nick oh, Kroll, oh, Nick Kroll, oh, hey, yeah, crazy Ira the douche. yeah, crazy Ira the douche. yeah, like porticles, frozen forks you can eat. I've only seen one episode. It's so cold. <laughs> and I literally couldn't watch Dude, it. The Office was good. I can attest to that. It was tough. It was tough getting through like the first couple episodes. Because they tried like being like The Office for the first season, and it was like absolutely atrocious, and then they got like better. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll have to watch it. Well, just like, it's not like any of the outrageous, like, scripts. Like, it's just like, man, it's like, I don't know, yeah, like, I'm trying to do the Irish and shit. Like, I'm like, Chris Pratt, I'm trying to do the Irish and shit. Oh, that's right, Chris Pratt's in it. Chris Pratt, Rob Lowe. Was that, like, his, like, first, um, major acting role? Like, in a TV series? Yeah. Okay, he did, um, he was, he was filming, I think, the first Jurassic World one during the end of the show. Oh, okay. He did contract work. Actually, I think Guardians of the Galaxy was before that too. Guardians that might have been his first. I don't know, maybe I'm not exactly sure. Huh. Never, I've so never seen got... Guardians of the Galaxy. I've only seen what? What? Yeah, I haven't seen the fucking movie. Guardians of the Galaxy is actually really good. Yeah, watch your wife and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. I'm like, dude, dude, I am Groot. Dude, 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 dude. And yeah, give your wife the Groot. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give Jilly the Groot. Oh. Yeah. You can do that all you want. Yeah, you can get Molly. You can have her. She's watching right now. Oh, sorry. You can comment down below which one you want. You want the guy with the mu- yo pull up, pull up, pull up the muscles. No, Tom pulled up. You can see the chest hair popping out. He's like, he's literally just, ah, bam, bumping. Like, just run your own hair salon at this point. Jesus. Sorry, my own hair salon. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm playing today. Actually, one of my goals is open up a um tiki bar, and call it Tommy's Tiki Bar. They literally already have thirty Tommy little titless t- tiki bar. They literally so already have like Tommy Bahamas. Yeah. See, that's good. Go. Tommy's Tits and Tiki Bar. I mean, they already have one called Tommy Bahama in, like, Hawaii. Uh, but just, yeah, if you do Tommy, <laughs> Tom, what is it, Tommy Tits Tiki Tommy Bar? Tommy Tiki's Tiki Bar. Well, no. It's Tommy's <laughs> Topless Tiki Bar. There it is. There it is. Yeah. That's the only way. That's the only form of entry. You have to steal off your boobs. <laughs> like, like, it can be, like, a Hooters, but, like, a little yeah, more 18 classy. plus. Yeah, 18, 18, 18 plus. plus Hooters. The waitresses don't have anything on except just... Yeah, if I get some extra money, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be. Yeah, how long is it gonna take you to get a job though? Engineering, like like that. Uh, and they're looking for engineers all the time. So I don't know with the Corona thing, but I kind of got lucky because I have an extra semester. So yeah, lucky you. Fucking, don't even think I'm gonna be on campus next semester. I don't know about you, but I hope not. Yours would make sense for you to be home. Why would you want to be in a dorm like that? It's fucking stupid. But you yeah. could take all online. It'd be more useful for you anyways. Yeah, yeah exactly. probably. It's just like having like, you have to have like yeah, that mentality. 
you have to have that like mentality. We used to go to your wife's house and just absolutely obliterate her on the on the skateboard. Going 27 miles an hour on the skateboard. Bump, bump, bump. Where's Sharon? That's gross. That's fucking disgusting. Holy funny. La 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 la. I didn't think we had it last podcast because literally Gavin didn't shut up once. Because there's only well, I mean, so much we can yeah, talk yeah. about. I mean, like, I had I had a little list going on here. Gavin's sister has Gavin whipped. Tim Clark. Well, we can't talk about Gavin the whole time. Tom and <laughs> Tom went fish. He can't take up two episodes. <laughs> yeah. He's probably at home right now thinking about it. He's like, I think they're talking about me. Oh, yeah. Probably already is. I feel like Gavin can sense when people are talking to him. Uh, about him. When they're talking about him. Because then just like. You know what I mean? Right through the ceiling. Right through the ceiling. Right the ceiling. No, I hopefully um. I don't want to talk about Gavin. I really fucking don't. I was going to say something about Gavin, but I mean. They don't. No. Yeah. You gonna take a shirt off? What's going on? No, I'm not gonna take my shirt off. Fuck you. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> but no, yeah. Hopefully, uh, me and I get a date with Charlie Jordan. Hopefully that works out. But do you have any relationship advice to him? With Charlie Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this, next week, I'm free. I'm free all year. <laughs> Nothing better to do. I don't know. Uh, Tim the Love Doctor. I mean, you've been in a relationship for what, how long now? Like, uh, Almost four and a half years. Oh, wow. Thinking about tying the knot. that long. You thinking about tying the knot anytime soon? Tying the knot? Yeah, like like a fisherman knot. I mean, I got to get a couple more Instacart batches for that. But There we go. You still doing Instacart? Whenever they, whenever they want, whenever people, whenever the options on my phone, I try to do as much as I can. Okay. You guys don't know what Instacart is. It's basically just you. I don't know. I don't know who I the honestly, fuck I listens to it. Told me the Instacart it. is basically you get people's groceries for them and you deliver them. Sometimes you have to get a refund for them because they don't have fucking gluten free fucking cookies that fucking people want. Karen or or Sharon, whatever her name is, Susan. So it's pretty much like instead of using the Walmart app because I know that's what my mom uses. It, it's exactly like that because Walmart doesn't go on that app, so you just. It's all the stores that don't have their own app. Oh, okay. So, like, Shaw's, Stop and Shop. Recently, they added, like, Big Lots and Staples. So you can get their office supplies. You know, yeah, let me go get you, like let me go get your paper. paper. I'm not going to say what they like, uh, like, 90%, 90% white, uh, double-backed or something weird like that. He always used to say that, like, every other episode. He used to mention some weird-ass paper. Hold up, before, you have in your relationship advice, you know, like... Yeah. I know she's completely out of my league, but, like, she liked my comments, so she must... Hey, my first thing, sh- shave the bottom half. That's what I said. First one and last one out mentality. Ah, all right, man. all right, you're a firefighter. Yep. Just the mustache. Rock it, but you got to own it. All right? You want to shave it, like, right now during this episode? You can save that for a video. Naheeb 15, another banger. First one in, last one out. Fireman edition. Yeah. That's going to be great. It's going to be good. I could see you as a fireman. I don't see myself as a fucking... Can you, can you actually see him as a fireman? Porn star, too. I don't know why you don't just do it if you don't use yourself for your portfolio. Start your fireman career. Fuck, what career? I'm, like, I'm just fucking oh. telling my story. I saw something that Pornhub will pay $20,000, and you don't even have to have your face in the video. Oh, yeah, and then Mia Khalifa commented, don't do that, please. <laughs> like on a <the> TikTok. <laughs> no, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let me yeah, yeah, get around on that. TikTok's definitely the way to go to get with uh, Charlie. Yeah, I know. That's the reason why she liked my comment. Exactly. Yeah. That's a start. Did she like your comment yesterday? No. She That's liked it today. Point. Exactly. So you're already a step ahead than you I were yesterday. Like, can something fucking happen, please? Like, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send her a picture of my salami if this doesn't work out. <laughs> and then I got the I commented. And then she liked it. Well, yeah, I'm, fr- I'm free. I'm free whenever. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Draymond Green. I didn't put anything out. All right, calm down. Well, I'm with Draymond Green. He literally posted a picture of his wiener on Instagram, then he deleted it like last second, and then these people are started screenshotting it. Or that guy that uh, posted the video of him getting his wiener sucked. What was his name? Jamal Murray, yeah. on the Nuggets. <laughs> what? Why are people sending this stuff on the internet? <laughs> and then she, she put on Twitter, "If you have the video, please delete it." And then someone like commented the video under her tweet. Oh no. Tom, you did the same thing the other day. What? Do you not remember? No, I definitely didn't do that, I don't think. 
At least I don't think so. It's going around. That's why all the girls are lined up right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's so many. Yeah. There's so many. Please put in a good word for, for Tom for Jill. Please. I really think she's she's not out of your league. I don't get what you your mentality matter. is. I fucking always get denied. <laughs> just get serious. This is, this is what happens all the time. My word is a bond. I, I honestly want to see how you talk to women because I feel like, like there's a point where like it gets like delay the podcast, like a uh, awkward silence, and then she's like, okay. Bring it to the bed. I'm telling you, you should have told her that. He what? Bring it to the bed? He was talking about um. So he's sitting up, we were around a fire, and he's like um, he said, hey, what's popping? And she said, nothing much, just in bed. And then she he said, I'm at a fire right now, eating s'mores. Which, hey, you're full, hey, of, you hey, need, full you of shit. Content, right? Like, and then she said, fire, I love fires. I would have said, hey, maybe we can have a fire sometime. Maybe cook some s'mores up. Dude, this is this is yeah, exactly. What what are we? At? Well, you should have you should have said something like that. Kind of guy, what's going on? All right, let's let's break down the hypothetical then. All right, so. She what? She's in her bed, and you're like, "Oh, I'm at a fire right now, eating some s'mores with some friends." Exactly. And she goes, "Oh, I like fires." Um. Something like that. She's oh, like, I like fires. Like, yeah, she likes fires and eating s'mores or some shit like that. Yeah, something like that. I feel that's way too quick. That's like a <laughs> one minute. Just... Well, do you, like, does you do you know her at all? No. I can make you feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I think that should have came up in some conversation or Whatever. something. Whatever. I mean, it, it's spilt milk. It is what it is. I kind of have the mentality mentality of everything happens for a reason. So Stay on it. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. You know. I feel like sometimes you have to create. I feel like sometimes you have to create your own destiny. I agree. You know, you know what I said? No, I didn't hear what you said. I feel I like sometimes you have to. Yeah, you listen to fucking Charlie Moore over there, fucking talking nonsense. Listen, sometimes you have to create your own destiny. I agree. I'm creating my own destiny right now. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of destiny are you creating? Like, what's what's, what's, uh, what's con- concocting in your brain right now? Con- uh, yeah, exactly what Kyle said. Kyle just said a bunch of cocks. I don't know how Wiener, Wiener is tied into your mind, but... Hell, yeah, you think about that hell of a good dick, huh? What? No. Not the hell of no. a good dip, the hell of a good dick. No. Halluva. My mom finally told me what it was like three days ago. Hell of a. Hell of a good dip. That's some good dip. You like hell of a good dip? Uh, yeah, I do. What's your What's your favorite food right now? Oh, my favorite food? Yeah. Bro, I love beef jerky. Beef jerky is so good. I love beef jerky. What brand do you like? What brand? Just, just like the normal? Jack Links. Jack Links. Do you like teriyaki or like just regular? I have gotten both, and I thoroughly enjoy the both of them. I think teriyaki is so good, but when you open that bag up in a car, it stinks up the entire car. I agree. I like um, black pepper. Black pepper is good. Never had it. It's, it's good. It's like a subtle. subtle the bag pepper. that I'm currently working on is teriyaki. You know what's bad really is I can finish that whole bag in one sitting. Is it like taking like a big bag? Family size, ten ounces. Yeah, that's more like Andrew size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I can finish that whole bag. That's bad. It's Discord. They're talking about stupid stuff. I got put in a Discord a long time ago. You know what Discord is? No. It's like a huge, like, you know what Discord is. Yeah. It's like a huge chat room for people that can, like, uh, play. It's pretty much, I don't know if you ever heard of TeamSpeak. It's like, um, you used to be able, you used to have to pay for it, but it's like a channel that you can just join a channel and you can talk to people. Oh, okay. So they don't shut the fuck up ever. There's this guy named Poop Sock on it. You know, you can disable notifications. Yeah, no, but look, they, they keep typing. Oh, you want some dick? No, I don't want any dick right now. I'm fucking. Terminator, yeah, later. But beef jerky, that's expensive. That's yeah, the only beef problem. Beef jerky is like, what, seven bucks a bag, probably? It really is. It really is so expensive. What did chicken jerky used to get? Uh, it was like ma- mama, like, I don't know. It was, it was like, chicken jerky? Yeah, it was pretty It was really good. Huh. It was like, I think it was a Mother Teresa's <laughs> chicken teriyaki. <laughs> beef jerky. You ever had um, venison jerky? <laughs> no. Venison jerky is really good, too. Never had anything. I never had venison. What's that, deer? Yeah. yeah. It's not good. It's good if it's not gamey. So it's not so it's not gay if dicks cute then. No. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> Dude, you literally said that on a video. Like on the, the Call of Duty video, you said it's it's not gay if dicks cute. And I'm like, what? No, that's literally what Devin from work said. Yeah, you still said it though. I have it I have it on video. Like one of the servers is like questioning each girl, like, you pretty sure his girlfriend is just like he's a fake person. 
Like your wife? That's no, that's literally what happened. Yeah. And literally that same night, that's what Josh, you know Josh White, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's just when um, Devin was bringing in beer bottles, and he's supposed to bring them to the bar, but he was bringing them to the dish station, and like we were getting pissed. We told him multiple times, but he didn't care because he was busy. So we told Jay to tell him, and Jay like yelled at him, was like, "Hey, bring those to the bar." He's like, okay, he goes to pick him up, and Josh is like, yeah, good girl, good girl. And literally, Jay goes, hey, if you're going to fight, I'm not defending you. That kid was so weird. That little kid did like a fucking, he was dancing in the kitchen. He was, he literally, he literally booped someone. He went like, boop. That was Pete. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Pete was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pete's a wicked discrimination against the community. Like, that's why I'm going to district. He's like, no way, I'm going to be there too. And I'm just like, oh, the gay guy is usually trying to find you anyway. Yeah, he's probably in the bath. He's probably in the bath, going to the bathroom trying to find you. Hey, where's his dick? Hey, this is pretty cute, huh? Yeah. Yeah, good time. Wicked. Yeah, it was really fucking wicked. No. Yeah, fucking loser. All right. Boys. Fuck that kid. What the fuck? Who the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Fucking, why don't you move out? Fucking move out already. <laughs> fucking Christ. Right, we're getting, we need that We need that podcast. We need studio. his room for the podcast. Studio room. Yeah, exactly. All right, fine. I'm just going to order another one then. And get Final Cut Pro again. We got a flag. We got the flag coming in soon. I want the flag soon. I don't know, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect for the for the background. No, I want to get something that's gonna like. That's not gonna go permanent. Just no, yeah, just put it on tax and then when the episode. No, I don't want. I want to put something on like the the vent so it doesn't destroy the wall. Even though, like the fucking paint is like doo doo. Yeah, but you got the fucking command strip things you can put on there. Yeah, there you go. What do we have hanging in the Patriots stuff? Maybe I don't know. I don't know, but it'll be here hopefully soon. If it's not here soon, then I'm gonna I'm gonna start shipping, suing. Your shipping tax, I'm sure it'll be here fucking before then. Yeah, all right there, sweaty sweaty armpits, calm down. Yeah, we know. I always sweaty thinking about Lily. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah? What about her? Boobs? Mm, check. <laughs> hey, Tim's got the end on that, and you're still not trying. Bro, I'm, I'm off, Molly. I'm, I'm on Charlie Jordan now. <laughs> it's more. It's honestly more like a, uh, like a, in, not even an inside joke, but kind of. But it's just kind of like... Uh, I think it's very outside. I feel like most people know about it. <laughs> Literally everybody oh. knows about it. Yeah, who, what about... C- does CNN pick the story up, huh? <laughs> yeah, they no. did. Yeah, they did. They don't know, yeah. Yeah, freak bag is trying to get with a blonde chick. But they tell Didn't work that. out. <laughs> Carl is just on the morning news. Andrew Hebert, uh, 18-year-old kid trying to get with a 21-year-old Molly Sullivan. Let's just say he's a freak and it didn't work out. He wants to kill himself now. We have live footage from Hopewell Park. as He's trying to drown himself in the deep end. CNN, back to you. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he playing? Uh, is he trying to play how long he can hold his breath for? No, he's dead. Yeah, I, I usually ate it. Didn't you have to clean it up? I was like, mm, Hershey chocolate. You had to clean it up. Oh my god, I literally ha- I worked pool attendant, so just pool bitch. I was basically like, you know. I've been there a couple times when you were well, working. Yeah, I know. Like before you came, I was like in misery. Like I was shackled, but. There was literally poop on the side of the bathroom stall, and I had to go clean the poop. Yeah, it's your job. It's not my job. I'm not the bathroom boy. No, that's literally, that's literally your pool bitch. That's literally your title. I was literally told by Antoinette to only clean certain stuff. Yeah, that made it sound good. Yeah, and you're still literally a pedophile. Well. Sex offender. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. You want me to keep going? <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Ted who's, Bundy. Who's, you want me to keep going? Who's Jeffrey Dahmer? Oh. Uh, no, that was like the. the they, didn't they call him like the Milwaukee monster or something? He was like, he was a cannibal. Yeah, he was a cannibal. Oh, that, that's pretty low. Is that when they had that weird movie about the guy who like they thought was like a suspect? Oh, anyway, this is a movie about it. I don't know. Let's drop, drop with the fucking podcast. It's getting weird in here. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Tim, for hopping on the podcast this week. Fine, you know, great guest. It wasn't, it, yeah, he's an amazing guest, better than Gavin, yeah. obviously. You know, we can actually talk and get and t- uh, Tim will listen and he'll actually give some positive feedback, and then Gavin will just take the show for himself. But thank you guys for listening and watching. Gavin's gonna be like, oh, geez, not again. <laughs> you can find us on Instagram at butter that bread underscore podcast. We reached, I think, like 570 like, followers. That's a decent amount. We also follow a lot of people, we follow like a G. I know, but still. And then we're people, lucky, people will start unfollowing. People will start unfollowing. I'll be like, okay, who would follow? 
I'm gonna go to your house and give you ten reasons, thirteen reasons why you should be following us. But yeah, you're gonna find us on YouTube, Butter That Bread. We uh got more subscribers recently. We're now on Apple Podcasts. They yep. fi- they figured it out finally. And we finally figured it out. Um, Apple Podcasts was having strokes. I don't know what's going on over there. Spotify, you know the deal. Um, this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And this was. Butter that bread podcast.